So guys, you want to know how to breed mystery snails. All right, well, I'm going to show you how I bred mine. This is my 30 gallon tank right now. I started off with just blue. I have one ivory and a chestnut. And I've been breeding mystery snails for a few years. In all my time, I've never had purple, but currently I ended up getting purple randomly. And I noticed in a lot more tanks, they're all appearing now. I have some over here that I have purple in now. I have some over there, some over there. So that's actually really good. Purple, I believe, is the most popular color. It's very hard to find in the stores. You mostly find, uh, you know, you, you normally find gold. You normally find like the dark, dark colors, like I'm trying to see. Pretty much green and brown, but I have a variety in here. And this is how they breed. You can see the A clusters on top. I've been trying to cut down on these snails because I have so many of them. So right now, uh, pretty much if you want to breed them, just feed them string beans. I do French cut. And they normally just eat from that. Uh, I have bristle nose in here breeding. I don't know if you can see them in there, but they have, there's a pair of albinos, a bunch of quarries. I have an Amazon sword. I have two pumps in here. The quarries breed like crazy which I have a tumbler, but it's not connected right now. But the tumbler works wonders. I'll show you my babies I have. The babies currently are in here. You can see them all in there. I'll show you my fish room real quick, guys. These are my rams right now. They finally started breeding on, on the bottom. I have a bunch of gold. I think I have like four gold and one blue. This is my, let me zoom out with this. This, these are my albino long fin pleco. Unfortunately, a female died. So right now I have a white blue eyed in here, female. And I'm hopefully, I don't know, maybe the male's on eggs. I can't really tell. He's fanning like that. There's the female back there, if you can see her. A blue eyed. These are my long fin, uh, regular bristle nose. I got like 40 or 50 babies in there. Uh, I have a red one in there. Some panda quarries. Quarries aren't breeding right now. These are my blue Moscow guppies, but I'm just gonna, if you guys want to, if you even care about this, just, you know, ask questions on anything I have. I have shrimp and some blue Moscows, but for some reason, this particular tank always, I had Dumbo mosaics, and when they bred, they grow very slowly, and they just seem like they were always sick. It's only this tank. So when I got the original breeding pairs, I think I had two males and four females. All the, all the parents died, but the babies survived, but they just don't grow. So I think it's because of the bladder snails. Just some guppies breeding like crazy. Some snails in there. I have all types of mollies, platies. All of those babies in there, I have probably about 100 babies of mollies and platies. I bred them outside in my ponds, which I'll be doing videos this year about. Uh, sailfin mollies. We went over that tank. Some discus and angelfish. Been trying to breed them forever. They're not breeding. Kind of gave up on all of them. Mostly males in there. The discus, I'm not really too sure about. I'm trying to breed that koi angel with this angel. Unfortunately, the veal angel that was the male passed away because the heater malfunctioned. I threw it out since then. A bunch of guppies, uh, peonies, blue angel, which I found in the store, which I was extremely lucky about. And I didn't realize the snails are breeding like crazy in here. Never have an issue with ammonia because I'm pretty much just keeping these snails at the, at bay right now. 55 gallon I just put up, 15 I just put up, so they're getting cycled. I just picked up some quarries from the store. I think I got six of them. The guppies in this tank um, are from the blue moscow tank but um i wanted to see if they would change anything uh, more more platies from outside a bunch of more snails this is a 55 i pretty much just put a bunch of stuff in it, it has algae right now because of the uh window but i pretty much just have guppies platies and sword tails a bunch of quarries in there some pleco um all those all these fish in here are going to be going outside in ponds i just put a bunch more snails in this tank, a bunch of snail, a bunch of guppies, nothing crazy. I'm gonna be redoing that. Breeding pair of angelfish, koi angels. I don't know where the babies went. 
So currently right now, they might be on top of a, I don't know, they just appear, but they were, they were eating them lately. Last two tanks, three tanks, whatever, four tanks. Bunch of baby angels in here, guppies, sword tails, trying to breed these uh, guppies in here, but unfortunately all the females died because they came in sick. That's my cat, Fee. Breeding pair of brown long fin placos. I actually got calicos from these guys. I remember the guy that I bought them from, he said that could be possible that the uh, you might get calicos, and I got all my uh, baby angel fish in here. Well, not babies anymore, but those are the ones I've raised. It's a learning process. And the last tank is going to be the breeding pair of flower horns, which I bought from a, when I traded actually for a guy. I don't know if they're actually breeding. I gotta clean up all that stuff. I have them separated right now because the male is, uh, come on, get down. The male is uh, very aggressive. But one thing I wanted to say as far as breeding snails, if you ever wanted to use a certain type of, certain type of substrate, do not use this. Because this, if I can show you one of those snails, their shell ends up being very, I don't know what the word is, <laughs> not good. But I transferred all these snails from that tank and their shells improved dramatically. You can see how shiny they are. The, um, the coral substrate with the high pH definitely makes a difference. Let me, let me pull one of these guys out for you and I can see it. Try not to disturb the uh, mating pair of... Uh... Yeah, this guy's snail shell isn't that bad. You can see it. I'll put him in here. Sorry guys, first video, I'm getting used to it. But if you guys have any questions as far as breeding anything, let me know. I'm gonna make more videos about bristle nose and my experience with them. And uh, pretty much, yeah. So if you wanna breed mystery snails, do not use the plant substrate. Use crushed coral because your shells would be a lot better.